This video will help us understand that engineering and administrative controls will reduce risk when entering and exiting forest industry machines. Hello, Phil Salter here with Western Forest Products operating on Vancouver Island. We're here today to talk about the safe ways to use three-point contact while climbing up and down off of forestry equipment. A review of workers' claims between 2010 and 2015 shows that one of the most common single causes of serious injuries amongst forestry equipment operators is falling from equipment during entering or exiting the machine. Safely entering and exiting machines is not only an issue with harvesting equipment operators, but it also applies to forestry workers in other mobile equipment. Phil discusses how new machine enables three-point contact. Okay, so I'm approaching this forestry machine. I'm looking at the ground to make sure I don't have any slip trip hazards. I'm examining the steps to make sure they're in good condition. I know my boots are clean. I'm now lined up square with the ladder. I'm gonna climb up maintaining three point contact. I have a right hand, left hand, right boot, three points. Onto the track. Up again onto the machine, still maintaining three points. Step up, transferring my hand to this rail. Make my way along, up to the cab. Step treads are in good shape on the way into the cab, and in we go. Engineering controls are physical systems on a machine that reduce operator risk. They can be incorporated in the initial machine design or retrofitted at a later time. I just want to demonstrate the improvement we've made in adding these stairs. There used to be a ladder in approximately this location. These stairs provide a much safer way of getting up and down off the machine. It's much safer to climb a set of stairs than it is climb a ladder. And there are good three-point contact points built into this entire machine. Carrying tools or supplies in your hand while climbing on a machine does not allow for a three-point grip. Ask for help if you are moving tools, equipment, or parts to the cab or other areas of the machine. If help is unavailable, use other safe solutions such as a tool belt a backpack or rigging. Be aware that adding load to your body will change your body's center of gravity. Use extra caution when conditions are icy, wet or muddy. Watch for greasy and oily surfaces. Exiting is considered more hazardous than entering because of reduced visibility when descending a ladder and stepping on the ground. Wear appropriate CSA approved footwear with slip resistant lug soles. Avoid cork boots as the steel spikes can slip when contacting hard surfaces. When exiting your machine, be sure all parking procedures are followed. Use the same procedures as entering. Be aware of ground conditions for footing and other equipment. Checking for damaged steps and railings is a part of an operator's pre-work check. Supervisors, mechanics must also watch for broken steps or railings. Maintaining a three-point contact is the most important practice for safely entering and exiting forestry machines. Well-designed and located steps and rails that provide good foot and hand placement enable three-point contact. 